Hi, right, what's up guys? My name's Andrew Templeton, your local realtor. Uh, this is my good friend. Carissa. Yeah, and we're here today because she's an interior designer, I'm a realtor, and we're putting this great project together. We're here at actually my house, um, and my sister just recently moved out, and I don't know what to do. And so I've got you here to help me out here to kind of we're answer. Gonna try. We're gonna try. Yeah, we're gonna see what happens. To kind of answer the question, like I'm moving to a new house, I don't know what to do, or it's a new season of life, or a new season in general, I gotta redecorate. Um, it's I'm excited. Or a first-time home buyer, you don't always have like everything right because a lot of times you're just paying to get into the house, so you're not necessarily having the ability to buy everything to go perfectly together. So how do you use what you already have to create a space? And Exactly. We basically spent like 50 bucks at home goods, some other places, doing some stuff, use the furniture I already had, and we're going to see what happens. Let's get it. So I've taken a look at all of Andrew's things. The first thing I did when I came into his space was also try to just find his style. So looking through all of his different objects that he's collected, I kind of noticed a farmhouse theme going on, which I really like because it's got like a lot of the rustic woods, um, just all kind of fun stuff that isn't like farmhouse. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle the floating shelves because to me they're the most intimidating and because they're so big you do need a lot to kind of fill them in and make the space look good. So what I've done is I've separated into different areas. So I'm going to start with my anchors which are my larger pieces and that way you know you can kind of spread them out and catty cornered and make those look good and then you go in with your fillers or the smaller objects to really fill out that space. All right, guys. While Carissa was on coffee break over there drinking her mocha frappe latte thingy my jigger, um, I did some cool techniques over here. What we did is here layering things in front, things in back. My favorite, perfect favorite is this one over here, which got four pieces, which provides depth to the room. Um, and as you can see, I had all the stuff. I just gotta fill in some of the picture frames because they're empty and little maps that say Thomasville. Not great, actually. But here you go. Did it all myself. What can I say? <laughs> Working on the coffee table next. We just moved away from the wall. And I saw some red colors in the wall and I was like, you know what? I actually have some coffee cups and this mug for cream I never used in my cabinet. So we brought it out here um, and set it here so it kind of flows into the red throughout the entire room. Zero pump for coffee tomorrow morning here. That's all I have to say. I am putting Andrew to work. We're going to go over to the entryway to make a nice little entry section. And Andrew had this north, south, east, west sign when I first came over. And he was like, I love this piece. There we go. So we're gonna make that the entrance, part of the entrance. We've also got a spot for coats to make it actually a, you know, what is the word? Practical. To make it a practical space. So this is the area that we're gonna be working on next. So you have to think cute, but also practical. So we're moving on to the dining room where Andrew had this Goodwill find of a really solid, heavy duty mirror, but it just didn't quite fit the rest of the decor. So this is actually one of the pieces that I took um, back home and turned it into more of that white distressed farmhouse look to help keep and tie in that theme throughout the area. One of the reasons Andrew and I are really good friends is coffee is important to both of us. So what we decided to do in this area was actually create a coffee bar, which I personally have been dying to create in this space. So Andrew had these really, really awesome wine crates that he had already kind of been using for shelving. I just grabbed another one and made sure we spread it out through the entire length of the wall or at least the entire length of what I wanted for the coffee bar area to really kind of fill in that space and to be used for storage. So from there, all that was left was to fill in the empty spaces. We moved in the table, we set up his coffee, and then I filled in the shelves and added a few more decorative pieces. Last, but definitely not least, is probably my favorite space, which is the actual dining table. I took it back home with the mirror and also painted and distressed this to be more of the farmhouse look. Add a little bit of a burlap runner on it and some more decor, keeping it very simple since your table so you have enough room for people to sit around and eat. And now the long-awaited before 
and afters. Wow, have you seen this place? I'm pretty dang happy with it. I'm super ecstatic. Reason being, uh, we took books that I had, um, other random bases, things like that, my coffee machines, all this different stuff, things I didn't have, bought a few extra pieces, that's it. Just a few, under 50 bucks. Actually, half, there's a couple things I'm eating in our return because we don't even need it in this space. 100%, so as you go through your garage, your room, you find stuff you don't actually need, save onto it, put extra space, and then invite a friend who can design. If you can't, to come over, right? And maybe repolish some stuff, like this, this table is stained, some different stuff like that. Repurpose it, and yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a few things from it too. This was a blast for me to do. I was so thankful Andrew asked me to do it, and I could step out on my little baby DIY skills because I'm just loving it. But yeah, until next time. Stay classy. Thanks, guys.